Welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I'm your host, Alan Taylor. Thanks for joining me here today, guys. I just love each and every one of you. I'm going to read another portion of the chapter I started to read in my last um, Solomon Speaks video. I called it the WOW chapter. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. It's a pretty profound message. And it applies. It applies for what we're going through, what I was going through at that time. And, and you know, I picked the book up again, and here we are. Some profound stuff here, guys. So, I'm going to read it to you, and I hope you get something out of the message. This is another part of the chapter. We create every second of our lives. It's our artwork. We're passing our power away. People are afraid of taking real responsibility for their lives. And we've trained in this society and to look to others. So religious dogma requires having someone intervene for us because we cannot do it on our own. That's misguided. This is a really large topic to address. One of the reasons we're introduced to this life on this plane is to make that journey from powerlessness to power. We come in coded with the fact that we're reliant on someone else. In essence, we are on our parents. You know, as children. That encoding happens almost organically. And we believe that this is the way we must proceed for all of our lives. Because we have transferred all of our power to our parents initially. But then, there comes an awakening. There is a journey that happens and eventually we become ourselves. We become our own parents. We reclaim that role for ourselves. And when we parent ourselves, we become self-sufficient. We become the whole being that we can be. And that's a hard concept for many people to grasp. How we parent ourselves shift it. That's one of the journeys that happens. This transition from a dependent to an independent, self-reliant individual. But too often, that level of consciousness never gets broken. We then pass it on to a mate. We pass it on to a friend. We create that type of, you need to be there for me, codependent relationship. All those kinds of paradigms that exist in society. And somehow the journey is to reach the point where you become full in and of yourself. Accessing the energy that exists for everyone. It isn't a limited pool. It's unending. One only need reach. And sometimes it takes a little effort. But that's where the harmony comes in. When you're able to reach and feel that fully in your life. That center where you are not reliant. Where you own your life. So many people don't own their lives. They've sold parts of it. Given it to people. And then they try to reclaim it. And get frustrated because that person, they say, took a part of their lives. As opposed to that they let them take part of their lives. It's about reclaiming your life after your early years as a child. It is making yourself whole again. It's so easy when it seems that all you have done is given to get into the drama of life. It all becomes drama. Where we now have people to blame for our, dif or our deficiencies. Because they did something to us or we perceive that they've done something to us. And now we're victims. And we can be very comfortable in our victimhood. And look for someone to save us from that. Yet that will never lead to a fulfilling life. Because the power is not them. It is here. It's here. Here inside of you. You don't need to pull from other people and have that fight, that war. It's remembering. It's a process of remembering because when we are not in this plane, we recognize it. We understand that connection and we give it up only in order to find it in this life, the journey to rediscover it again and change our environment by doing so. So part of the mission of every human being born in this particular plane is to reclaim their power, to remember their power that they have let go before they've come on this plane. 
It's very much like a treasure hunt. We've all come on this plane to participate in a treasure hunt. And the treasure is within us. And until we recognize it, we're always going to be looking for treasure outside of ourselves. There comes a moment that turns into the aha moment. We actually realize that the treasure is who we are and we respect that for what it is. We all are treasure. That's the rediscovery. We're all here to play this game. If you are at one with yourself, if you really... If you are really in tune with your inner life, no choice you make is wrong. There is value in every choice you make. Every choice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what choice you make. Some people think, should I go through this door? Should I go through that door? Or should I go through another door? They spend time, a whole lot of time, trying to decide which door to go through. They all lead to the same road, but we're stuck trying to find a way. Which door should I choose? Does this door have value? Does that door have value? Is there treasure behind this door or is it behind that door? I don't know. Maybe I need someone to help me figure out which door it is. And they spend this time in a sort of purgatory life existence where there's no movement. The thing is to pick a door and walk through it. It's going to take you where you need to go. You don't have to worry about making the wrong choice because there's value in every moment. There's value in every choice. There's a lesson in every choice you make should you choose to see that. It doesn't matter. Move. Go through the door. Don't contemplate the doors. That one is prettier. That one looks pretty severe. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go through the door. If there is any choice that would be the least desirable or closest to wrong, it would be to not make a choice at all. And some people back off. I'm not going through any door. I'm comfortable here contemplating doors. That's where my existence lives. I'll watch other people walk through. I don't know what's happening on the other side of it, but I'll let them choose. I'll wait and see how many people go through this door. And I'll wait to see how many people go through that door. I'll get opinions on the doors and I'll have them measured. So all of that fear is about deciding which doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Move. People don't move in their lives. They don't grow. They become very accustomed to the room they find themselves in. And that can be very painful sometimes. We all know those people who have, uh, who are invested in their pain. In those cases, they need to move. It doesn't matter which direction, which way. It doesn't matter. But where they are is where the pain is. And the growth is in the movement. The insight is in the movement, not in stasis. It's about getting people to move, move in their lives, spiritually move. People may not always demonstrate the healing that you believe they should be receiving. Mm, I think I'm going to leave it there. you got to move in your lives. You got to move. I mean, there are no wrong choices. That's what I love about this message. Doesn't matter what door you pick. You just got to pick a door. Everything you experience in your life is growth. But if you don't pick a door and move forward, you're going to be repeating the same cycles of life. You're going to be having the same lessons over and over again. And eventually you're going to become a master at that topic, but you still won't change it. I mean, that's kind of how my life was when I was in a victim state of mind. You know, I didn't. I didn't make decisions. I asked other people for their opinions. And I wouldn't make decisions on my own for what I truly wanted. Because I really didn't know what I wanted. Like none of the, the things in my life really were appealing to me. So 
I just stayed in stasis. I stayed stagnant in that environment. And, and it was a revolving door to pain. Stayed in my pain. I, I was like in fear of removing the pain from my life. And then I bitched about it and cried about it to anyone that would listen. So in essence, I was attracting more of the same because the universe is going to show you what you most desire and what you most speak of and think of. If you're speaking and thinking of your pain, the universe is going to show you more pain. I think this is a really good message that might help a lot of people get through and pick a door. Doesn't matter what door. There's growth and value in every decision you make. I love you guys. Be the change that you want to see in this world and and love yourself.